Okay, so today we're gonna test the smart wool um, two gang switch. So just to show it to you guys, um, this one has both Wi-Fi and RF, so you can connect an RF remote to this. Um, its max power is 100 watts per gang. Okay, so this one's a bit higher. Um, I, I've tested another one recently. I actually have it right here. So this is the most. Um, the most actually can do up to um, 10 amps per gang, right? So times 220 volts, that's about 1,000, 1,000, uh, sorry, 2,200 watts, okay? So this is roughly, if that's the case, this is roughly about 5 amps per gang, I think, no? Um, and then it's auto vault and you can see Wi-Fi okay now if we were to compare this against this is the most um, you can see here that the most is a little bit thicker and then this is a little bit thinner you know? um, in terms of dimensions they're exactly the same all right so let's let's play with this baby now let's let's plug it in Okay, so you can see here that um, there's like a flash, fast blinking light over here. Okay, um, it's in the the Wi-Fi. Um, if you compare that to the most, the most this one does not work. This one actually works. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the plus add device. All right. Um, let's let it search first. Uh, I don't think that this has Bluetooth as compared to the most. Okay, let's just select Wi-Fi. Uh, so th this is what I really hate about um, these devices, no? Uh, if it doesn't have Bluetooth, it's a real pain in the ass, no? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to try to... So now you can see um, it's fast blinking. What we want is we want to get it to blink in a slow version. If it's blinking slow, um, that means it's going to um, act as a Wi-Fi and then we're going to connect directly to the Wi-Fi of this device. There. You can see it's blinking slowly now. Okay, so we're gonna click uh, blink slow. And then you should see here, um, you can see here Smart Life BCCA. So there, now that we're connected. Okay, um, now that that's set up, um, let's rename this to most key gang. gang switch. Okay, there you go. So I actually have this connected to the second switch. Um, so let's let's just check all the features. 
So um, you've got device information, automation, and then you can you can connect it to Alexa, Google Assistant. Uh, you've got offline notification, so you've got multi-control association. Um, this multi-control association basically makes it so that you can connect two separate switches. Like for instance, if you were if you had like a stair switch and then you have one in the bottom, one in the top, right? Now you can share the device, uh, you can create a group, um, and you can check the connection of the device. So, looks pretty good. Um, you usually use that if you want to troubleshoot if the connection of your device is um, good or not. No? So, once again, you've got the switches over here. Um, switch one isn't connected to anything. If you want to rename this, you can long press on it. Uh, I'm not going to rename it right now. Switch two is the one that's connected to the cob light, right? Um, so you've got all on. Okay. And then you've got an all off over here. Um, you've got a timer. So you can set a timer for this switch. So you can um, set it to repeat on specific days okay um, so quick note like the interface here uh, is a little bit different um, the one of most is quite frankly a little bit better um, but not, not that you know not that much different no and then here um, you can set a town countdown timer uh, I've already set it for one minute um, and I've got the switch on so you should be able to see it turn off There you go. So it turned off, no? Um, so let's look at the LEDs. Um, so if the light's in the off state, um, it's actually blue, if you can see that. Um, and then if it's in the on state, um, it turns red, no? Um, this LED, once again, is active as well, no? So um, the other thing is, if you can hear, um, it's... It does have a clicking sound. Okay, so um, I, I mean it's a it's a switch, right? Uh, that's it's pretty straightforward. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is how it functions if there's power off. So um, let's turn them both on, right? So I hope you can see that they're both in red, no? So let's unplug the the switch. Okay, and then if we reconnect it, right, so it's going to go back to its off state. So th that's how this switch works, right? Um, there's no way to set this inside the settings, unfortunately. So once again, guys, um, if you like these videos, uh, I'm going to do a comparison between the Mose and this smart tool one soon right after so if you want to see that um please subscribe to the channel thanks guys